Ah, shark! Alright, I guess some go. Whoa! Now I forgot about that eel. Okay, there we go. Blew him. Whoa, I blew him away. Look at that. The second place only got like five, and I got, and I got 21. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of embarrassing, especially for hard computer players. You know, because they're, they're supposed to be hard, and in this game, hard difficulty means something in Mario 44. And for Mario Party games on up. Okay, um. Luigi's gonna use his booze crystal ball. He's probably gonna steal coins from me. Yeah, I knew it. You know. Let's see. Well, at 21. Ah. Anyway, you know, I just know something. This is. Tapping the A button on this game is a little bit easier than Mario Party 2 or 3. Since this is the GameCube, and the button's actually kind of big as well, so. On the GameCube, compared to the N64 A button. Okay, Luigi's gonna go to the larger shop. He's gonna play a little scratch off game. And win absolutely nothing. And nothing. Okay, well, Luigi got a party ticket, so that'll come in handy when we get to the last five turns event. Okay, Peach, are you gonna fly all the way to the, across the board? Yes, you are! And, oh man, I was gonna take Buzzard as well, because... Oh, wait a minute, I think he'll, I think she'll go past the star. Will she? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I was considering whether not to take Buzzard to the other side of the map, but I decided not to because the star is right over there. Let's see, let me figure out how to get to it, though. Go, uh... I'll go by the item shop, though. Let's see, no, I don't want to go down. You know, I could have actually taken Buzzard. Dang it, Peach. Ah! Peach, why must you ruin everything? Okay, what we got? Oh, Mario Melody! Okay, new game! Let's see, uh, right down the list. Okay, basically what this is, when a little swimming con- when a little swimming race like you see at the Olympics. And, um, basically, um, basically what you gotta do here, you push different types of buttons here, like, first part you press the A and B buttons together, and um, once you get to the end here, the buttons will change whenever you go back. Which is the arrow and R buttons. Now keep an eye on your heart meter because if you run out, you have to stop for a minute. So, so keep an eye on that. Okay, I'm gonna let it recharge for a minute. Now I get it. Okay, this is gonna be a close race here. Okay. Dang it! My heart meter ran out too fast, and DK won that. I could have actually won that if I would have saved my little heart meter. Yeah, that's what happens when you run out of heart. You uh will be stopped for a minute. So this game can be kind of easy, and it can be kind of hard as well. Well, once you get to the used to the controls, it's kind of easy. Okay, uh, DK's gonna use his Mega Mushroom. And whoa, we're up to 20 minutes. I don't know we're on, uh, what turn? Turn 7. Oh my god, DK, really? You just had to do it. You just had to do it, didn't you? And that's gonna cost you, because you're going back to where I am. So take that! Okay, um, you know my wall pop will come in handy if somebody gets actually really close to the star here. 
and Luigi for some odd reason is using this mini mushroom. And I'm not gonna give him that far. <laughs> okay, my turn here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Battle game? Okay, so how many coins? Ten. That's forty. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna rumble fishing again. I am not gonna do pass apparel. Now, we'll get this game three times in one board, but who cares really? There we go. This game never seems to amaze me. <laughs> is it the same order again? Yes, it is! Oh my god. For the third time in a row, it's the same finishing order as it was in the past two times we played Rumble Fishing. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, two versus two. I'll be teaming with the Ouija in this one, and we'll be playing. Oh my god, we got the worst one here. Cheap Cheat Sweep, it's a new one, but it's the worst one of them all. Basically, um, each team, they have to try to capture these Cheap Cheats and put them in, the, in the, uh, their basket, in their little thing here. Now, the person who gets the most Cheap Cheats in their, uh, in their uh, basket at the end of the time limit wins. And this is actually considered to be hard because because of the cheap the way the mechanics work. Oh, a gold one, thank you. And Luigi got one too, so that's gonna help. Okay, well, we're not there yet. We gotta get that Ah Peach! Dang you. So yeah, this game can actually be kind of difficult. You gotta actually sneak up from behind. Okay, I got the last two, but that's not going to give me the win, though. Yeah. DK again is winning the mini games, so got to watch out for him. Yeah, cheap, cheap, sweep. At least we got it out of the way, but it's not my favorite game. Hmm. Now, I was assuming about if, there, if there's a magic lamp at the item shop, but eh, I'm not going to worry about it. I wish uh, Peach didn't take Buzzard over there. That would have helped. But I'll tell you what, I got a warp pop, so I'll probably use it on Peach here, so. It depends how good I get on the Luet Wheel, because the Luet Wheel can be a pain in the butt sometimes, so. That is what I'm going to do. Here's my warp pipe. Okay. Ah, dang it! I uh, used it too quick, so I pressed it too quick. So okay, let's try. Let's go to the item shop. Uh, I can get a magic lamp again. All right, well, actually not again, but. I'll just get another warp pipe and see if I can actually try to swap pages, places with Peach next turn again. Hey, right, another happening space. Eh, fun wish this time. Let's see, uh, what's this gonna make the shy guy? What's going on? Okay, it pleased him. Okay, we're going to continue on with our voyage. <laughs> you know, I'm debating whether or not to use my mini mushroom to uh, play that little mini game or just to go ahead and swap the, uh, use my more pot to try to switch places with Peach again. Okay, speaking of which, speaking of Peach, I'll be teaming with her and Cliffhangers, so. Better her than uh, Donkey Kong because he is uh, right now kind of dominating the mini games right now. Still, no blizzard. Okay. 
There we go, we got one that time. Okay, we want to get another one here? Yes! Okay. Ah, one more if we want some good measures. No, I was trying to make it, but no. But I made it that time. See, the Rumble Pack. They actually make good use of the Rumble Pack in this game, especially for this mini game. It's actually, they actually gave it pretty good, pretty good use to it for this game. I mean, oh, it's just when you hit a wall or something. They see what basically what most Rumble Packs. They whenever you hit a wall, or something they'll vibrate. But this one actually used it, especially in Rumble Fishing, to tell you when to push on, push on the A button. And uh, and yeah, and especially on cliffhangers, where you get up like really fast to tell you that blizzard is coming. And I was playing, hoping to play that this wouldn't happen. But DK had just bought himself a magic limb, but as long as he doesn't get to 20 coins before I get to this next star here, I should be alright. And I think in one of the items then on shop, I think up for grabs was a swap card. A swap card would have been ha handy. Oh, I would have actually gotten it, but now I got a warp pod. Oh shoot! Well, well I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, use my warp pipe again. We'll try this again. And please get peach. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! I traded places with Luigi and I barely got ahead of Peach right there. On that. Let's change. Yeah, I think Peach is kinda actually far ahead right here. Okay, we got a four play Oh no, lucky! Lucky four play mini game. Okay, well twice them out. Twenty coins. Okay, let's see here. Uh Paratrooper Plunge. This is a new one. This is actually basically a uh, coin collectathon, so uh, let's see, since this is a lucky mini game, is the coin mounts coin mounts uh double? I don't know. I mean it doubles to twenty coins, but uh we'll see how it's okay, basically paratrooper plunge is a coin collectathon. You gotta try to get the coins here while avoiding these enemies, like the shy guys or fly guys and the uh, paracoopas. And uh, if you get hit three to four times, I think it's three times or four. I don't know which one. If you get hit, see that amount, you will be out. Yeah, it's three times. Let's see. Yes, I got that coin bag again. DK's gonna get some coins as well. 15. He got a pretty good amount here. Let's see. Yeah, they double. Actually, I got 34 for that, and that actually helped. That actually helped DK as well because uh, he can actually use his magic lamp. Yeah. So, yeah, the. Oh, we haven't shown off the magic lamp yet, I don't think. This is basically the game changing item. Basically, a game changer album. It's back from Mario Party 2 and 3, and it'll take you straight to the start. And look at this genie here. He is big. I mean, tall and fat. Look at that. So yeah, like so yeah, like I said, the magic lamp, like from Mario Party 2 and 3, you know, take you straight to the start. And it can be a game changing item as well. So, so yeah, we haven't had that. I haven't had the magic lamp yet, so. But anyways, DK got his first star, and... Yeah, and that's not good, because he has a star, and minigame can help him, but... I, I'm in a ha pretty good amount of happening spaces, so that should be alright. 